What is going on, guys and girls? The man, the myth, the legend, I, myself, me, not any other person but me, is back for another episode of Yonder Tale. Now, when we last, last, when, blah, 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 blah. when we last left off on our little adventure, I managed to escape what I assume is going to be the future final boss. Although, how future that final boss is going to be, I, I don't know. I have no clue. So, let's begin our journey. Hey, the man, the myth, the legend, this guy. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50 grand to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yes. Lame! Really? He's really proud of himself for that one. <gasps> what are you? What's a star? Me! Yes, no, you can't touch me. Oh, well, called it! My god, it looks like I'm a freaking case of domestic abuse. Yeah, it's gone. Ooh, a box. It's a box. Hey, buddy! I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I have a sol I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Yes. Super. Here you go. Neat. I have a nice cream. I don't know where I should go. This way looks like a good way. Okay, this way is not a nice way. Down I go. I don't like the change in music. It does not fill me with determination. Ooh. You hear a passing conversation. So, why don't you have any wishes to make? Oh. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Come on, how stupid could it possibly be? I once wish for Pokemon to be real. You walk into... Moldzamal. Sexy Wiggle. Oh my. Ah, crap. Die! Boom! One shot. KO. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take them? You got ballet shoes. How do I check my inventory? Butterscotch pie. Ballet shoes. Yes? They make me incredibly dangerous. Now what does that leave me with for items? I'm just gonna equip a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. Then I can't use my manly banana. I gotta use the manly banana. I don't have a choice. I have to use the manu manly banana. Well, let's go down. Hello! This is Papyrus! My BFFL, remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. That's not ominous at all. Well, work, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not... So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. It pained me so much to tell a bold-faced lie, but since you aren't wearing a bandana... She surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. I can't believe he got that number. Can't believe it. I'm actually fairly impressed that his... Aaron flexes in. 
What the heck? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, crap. Oh, I'll just stand right here. Nope, no I won't. Boom! That was actually kind of cool. That was really cool. Ooh, a sign. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. What is that? I don't think I want to know. Oh, bad touch, bad touch! Oh, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch! Ah! Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onionson. Onionson, you hear? I don't know how I feel. You're visiting... You're visiting water... You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's a great here, huh? I love it, huh? Oh my gosh, those eyes! Those big... I'm just gonna walk away. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I... have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. This beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Please don't cry. Please stop following me. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Yes. Hey. There, at the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In the waterfall... Okay. Thank you. I'm glad I have your permission to have fun. Sindarin hides in the corner, and but somehow encounters you anyways. Phew! That's kind of hard. That's kind of a hard one. Ooh, a piano. How does this work? Down, down, up, up. I'm very confused. Let's consult this. The hunting sound echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight. Only the first eight are fine. I have no clue what's going on. Da 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 I have no clue what's going on. So I'm gonna walk down here. Through here, I guess, seems good. This power has no counter- oh, it's the human soul thing. Every part of my being is telling me this is not good. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Okay. Please take one. Okay. Neat. I am a pretty butterfly. I am the pretty of your... <gasps> Senpo! Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. He's just sitting there. Following me. 
Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. You're saying I don't? Knowing she's gonna... Knowing she's gonna beat me up. Oh! 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 I don't want to talk to you no more. Get away. Go away. It's just gross, man. Just... So one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The, the king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flower. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibilities and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if, if she could beat up all the teachers? She could beat up all the teachers. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't, wouldn't beat up teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Cutscene! It's like the first cutscene in the game. I'm very confused by what I'm witnessing here. Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I thought it was a cutscene. Yay, I returned the umbrellas. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me, I always find a way to get through. How is he functioning as an individual? Seriously. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top, it fills you with determination. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's see what I can get done in five minutes. Okay, I'm not liking this. Oh, damn. Oh, please, no. Crap! I don't need this kind of pressure in my life! At least these are easy to dodge. Huh. Where even is the exit in this place? I'm gonna die here, aren't I? This feels like I'm progressing forward. Oh, thank goodness I said crap. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Yay! Wait. No. Yeah. Right. No. I am Yang. Yay! Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Bleak, er, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh. 
You big smelly willies. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Nice. Trademarks. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally a piece of trash will fall through and falls to the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. Neat. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. If you guys want to keep on seeing more, be sure to smash that like button. Drop a like, comment, please subscribe. I'm desperate. But until then, guys. Well, no, not until then. Please like, subscribe, comment, yada, yada, yada. And on the next episode, hopefully we'll progress. But until then, there we go. This has been me. Me. Be seeing you.